Hi, Kerry Rhodes, Rhodes to Safety. Uh, today I thought we'd have a bit of a word about keeping the dogs clean, particularly their paws, when it's very cold and very muddy and horrible when you go for a walk with your dogs. Now if it's muddy when you come in, obviously you're going to clean the feet before you let the dogs go into your car or into your home. If it's icy then often the councils will have gritted the roads where you're walking and that makes it easy for you to grip but if the dogs walk on it continually it builds up the toxicity of the levels of salt on their pads and particularly if they lick it if they ingest it that can be poisonous for them so we need to get into a habit of when we come in giving the paws a good wash and dry afterwards if you do feel that the dog's paws are becoming irritated you can use things like Aveeno moisturizing oatmeal um, cream to put on them or maybe something like aloe vera veterinary spray that's very good as well I use that one myself on the boys um, the place where I walk if I can turn this around looks like this at the moment it's horrible it's uh, muddy and dirty and disgusting and then the other half of it is gritted and salted so for us making sure that we dry off clean properly and sort ourselves out before we go home is really important we do live in the country it's one of those hazards you just have to put up with the plus side of being somewhere absolutely fantastic where you can let your dogs off lead so today um, I thought I'd do a bit of a review video for you and I have um, just taken delivery of something called a mud daddy. I have never used it before. Um, today is going to be its debut so I thought I would video it at the end of my walk when we get back to the car to see how good it is or isn't in case you fancied one. If we do like it we'll post the link to the site where I bought it from um, and we'll see how that goes but uh, for now that's it and I'll speak to you shortly. Bye! So we're back from our walk um, and as you can see Axel is pretty disgusting in the feet and legs and particularly today the tummy department which is yeah absolutely terrific so what we've got then as i said is a mud daddy so the mud daddy holds five liters of water um, and it has a hose off it and then it has a brush with a handle on and when you press the trigger it releases water so it makes it like a shower unit with a brush so that you can clean your dog so um, it doesn't have a battery or anything but instead to get the pressure what you need to do is take this end here and pump it about 20 to 25 times and that will increase the pressure enough so that the water will come out and be able to clean your dog so we'll do that first Lexi come, Lexi, boy seems to work pretty well. So I'll get on clean the rest of them up and we'll have a look um, but so far so good looks like it's doing all right. Don't advise trying to do this and videoing yourself though that makes it a bit tricky. So there you have it the mud daddy. Um, what did we think? Well, it was 30 quid, which wasn't a, a vast quantity of money, but it's something that's going to work well. Um, so the positive side of it is all three boys came back from our walk. They were clean, um, spotless in fact, which was brilliant for getting in and out of the car. And as soon as they came back home, they were done. Uh, the towels were absolutely soaked though, so you are going to need to have somewhere to dry those straight away afterwards. You don't particularly want to leave wet towels in your car. Um, and the other downside to it really was... Um, 
This holds five litres of water and in order for me to clean three ridgebacks properly, I think we we're looking at about 10 litres of water that we went through to do that. You do have to stop quite often to pump it up to get the pressure to rise so that it comes out. But other than that, that's about the only down downside to it. Um, so yeah, Mud Daddy, I guess we can say it gets the Roaster Safety seal of approval. We liked it, we'll certainly use it again. Um, and with the walks that we go on all through the winter, it's gonna get some hammer. So there you go. Um, if you like it, I'll put the link on the bottom. Cheers then. Bye.